everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lemon bath bomb. So this, so I'm going to be telling you the ingredients. I'm going to be using this book that I have here. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to be giving you the ingredients. Uh, that's just an ingredient up there, okay. So I need to find the page. All right, so what you are going to be needing is baking soda, citric acid, water, um, a liquid dye, um, they recommend green and yellow, and then you're going to be needing lemon zest, which is just shredded lemon from the, uh, the outside lemon, and um, six, uh, six drops of lemon essence oil or soap scent, and then one drop of lavender essence oil, and uh, or soap scent and then two drops of lemongrass as an oil or soap scent and one teaspoon of binding oil and the recommendation is olive oil so the um the food coloring and the um scents are optional but because i don't have lemon and wait no uh what do i need? So it says uh, the essence oil is um, lemon lavender and lemongrass i don't have lemongrass or um, or the lemon, so I'm just going to be using, uh, well, okay, so I have the lavender right here, and I'm going to be using lavender and eucalyptus, because that's what I have, and I won't be using dye for this, so yeah, uh, let's get started. Actually, wait a second, I will go get dye real quick since I got an editing app, so I'll just edit this part out. I'm gonna go get dye. All right, so I got the dye. Um, let's see. So I have yellow. I'm gonna be using gel. They're kind of dirty and old. Now we're going to be making it. Uh, so the scent and the um, coloring is optional. You don't even have to use them, but they're really cool. Uh, and you can use different types of scent. It just might not mix well. So hopefully the eclipsis, uh, eclipsis mix as well. Hopefully, hopefully you can use the gel one. Hopefully, I don't know why I said that. Okay, so um, first uh, you need one, uh, 60 grams of baking soda. So I'm gonna get the skin. And I'm gonna get the baking soda. All right, so I got my baking soda. And you're going to be needing uh, 60 grams of that. Next, um, you're going to be needing citric acid, and you want to mix that in the same bowl of the baking soda. For the citric acid, you're going to be needing 30 grams. Okay, so you want to get your lemon zest. Mine got really dry. Uh, anyway, so here's the bowl I'm using. Right now, it has the citric acid and the baking soda inside. So you want to mix your scented oil and your lemon zest together in the bowl with your um, baking soda and citric acid. So that, there's that. And then your dye. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to be using lavender and this one, life, life, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's a plant. It's not, probably. And it said for the scent, uh, you're going to be needing six drops so one drop okay so six drops of your lemon if you have it i'm just gonna be doing six drops of this one two three four five six. all right and then um if you have lavender uh just one drop to like that oops i think that was two but it's fine and uh, you are need two drops of lemongrass uh, essence oil. But I don't have lemongrass, so we're going to be using a clip uh, Actually, no. I'll just uh, use lavender again. Uh, so it's not gonna set, be scented like it. It might scent a little weird, but uh, the scents that you will need is lemon, lavender, and lemongrass. Those are the ones, I guess, recommended. They also recommend you use a whisker. Uh, no, not a whisker. Um, yeah, whisker, sorry, um, to mix it all together. I'm going to be using this, though. Okay. 
so just mix it all together really good uh your um uh lemon zest should be fresh my i had mine for a while and they dried up and um yeah hope it might it might not be the same but it's fine uh it should look something like that maybe not as like fresh and like good looking since it's a book and they don't always look exactly the same but it should look uh, something like that not brown all right so now that you're done with that you want to put your bowl aside and you want to take a, in a medium bowl so when you get that okay so in your medium bowl you want to combine uh your green dye and uh and your binding oil which uh, the recommendation is olive oil, right? Uh, yes, olive oil. And then, so in medium bowl, combined the green dye, uh, one half tablespoon of binding oil, and one half tablespoon of uh, no, sorry, teaspoon. No, one teaspoon of binding oil. I didn't mean. I meant teaspoon, not tablespoon. And um, one half teaspoon of water. Uh, set aside in your bowl. All right, so you need um, so you want to combine your green dye only, uh, and I only have yellow, so we'll just add the yellow. So you get the yellow dye. So first, you want to add your dye colors. So for the dye, you're going to be needing um, three drops. Uh, I'm gonna be using gel, so I'll just take a one eighth of a teaspoon I'm basically just using it as a bowl not really measuring I guess but yeah you can use one color but they uh, said only the yellow one because you were meant to use um, green and okay so now you want after you have your uh, yellow or uh, I mean your green dye you're supposed to have but I don't have green dye so we're just going to be using yellow and then you're going to be needing your binding oil uh, one half a teaspoon, so one half would be one half a teaspoon, here we go, and I'm just going to pour it in of the olive oil. Uh, you can use any type of binding oil you know, but the recommendation is olive oil. And now you're going to be needing a, uh, one half a teaspoon of water. Alright, so I got the water, like that, and um, now you want to just set it aside i guess all right now you're going to be needing in a separate medium bowl combine yellow uh your yellow coloring and your one half tablespoon of vinyl oil and one half tables ta uh, teaspoon sorry they're both teaspoon of water so um uh you can just if you only have uh yellow or if you only have green then you can just do it again so in uh, the same bowl, you can just get your um, coloring. I think I already got a lot of coloring, so I think it's fine like that. And then I need, I just need a, another um, uh, a teaspoon of binding oil and my teaspoon of water. So a uh, half a te teaspoon actually. So this is only if you have one color but if you have um both of them then you should do this separate um with your other color okay and now the water all right so now uh it says uh divide your dry mixture uh step one in half and then while whisking consistently add your green liquid mixture okay so now you're supposed to be mixing this one and I'm just gonna mix it all right so if you have your green and yellow uh, you want to uh, if you have green and yellow dye or two colors you want to use then uh, you want to divide this equal uh, or equally ish and uh, put this in another bowl 
and basically in one bowl you want to stir and then add in your yellow or green dye and then do it again but with your other dye color but since i only have yellow i just mix it all together so while mixing this uh like all of it so this is how much it should be for just one uh, it said while well, mixing, so if you have someone else to help you, then it's going to be easy because someone can just mix it and then the other person can just pour it in. So I'm going to mix it like this and then add the dye. Or not the dye. And it said it should fizzle a little bit, but you want to mix it consistently so it won't fizz all the way or else that would be bad, and you just want to crush it all together. Alright, so now that I've mixed it um, well, uh, I'm going, you want to get your mold. Yes, uh, you will You uh, will need a mold for this, um, of course, because how else are you going to make it? I guess you can roll it with your hands, but it might be a little harder. I have these, but I already used them once, so I'm going to wash them real quick and be back. So now that I have this, you just want to pour them in. So if your mixture is a little too small like mine, uh, I'll have an idea for you. You can just um, put it in one side of your um, thing. Unless you have a smaller one than mine, mine's pretty big. Uh, put it in one half, then leave it there for a few seconds, and then flip it over, and then you'll have like a mini one. It will be um, a more of a flat circle, but you know if you have small, but a smaller one but i'm just going to try and fit it all in to both so mine is obviously way too small so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to take one out and i'm gonna do the way to make it small so i'm just gonna take that all out and pack it on the other side Again, uh, yours should be a little bigger. For some reason, my book gave me this amount, and it ended up like this. Hopeful, uh, but yeah, if you're doing this beforehand, definitely make it bigger. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was going to be that big. I guess my mold's too big uh, for, um, I mean, too small, yeah. But I guess my mold's a little too small for, I mean, too big for this, so yeah um but hopefully you have a smaller one i can't i don't really know the mixture or the size of mine uh but yeah so basically what i'm doing i think i already mentioned it but i'll just say it again um i'm just packing one side uh, uh fully with all of my mixture and then i'm going to flip it over in a second So it's going to be more of a flat bath bomb, but that's okay. Hopefully yours turned out where the whole bath bomb is um, full. And this is what it was supposed to look like. Um, and this is how mine looks like. But again, my um, lemon zest was all dry. Yours should be fresh. And I only had one color. But hopefully you have all your colors. Again, it doesn't really matter the color. It actually smells amazing. So yeah, I hope you, yours uh, is a success or uh, more success than mine, I guess. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it works. Uh, well, actually, it will work because I'm probably going to wait a little bit uh, and then test it before posting. So this should work if you did it right. Again, mine looks a little weird. If it doesn't look like this, don't worry. It really should look like this. Or, again, if it looks like this, it will be fine. Alright, so yeah, this is just um, the result. Yours should probably be, like, full, and it would be, like, a huge bath on like this. Um, the, it said exactly this is what it looks like if you want to screenshot it. And it was a little hard for, uh, like, I wasn't that good at explaining it. So you can go ahead and screenshot that if you like. Um, but, yeah, so that's it. Um, I guess I did the wrong amount somehow or my bath bomb mold is too big but this did come with the set so i'm not sure anyway you just want to leave that set for uh let that set for about like 12 hours um maybe if you're lucky you could do less 
but this is just what I came out with and hopefully yours is a full nice bath bomb. But if it turns out like this, it's f totally fine. Alright, bye. See you in the next one. I'm probably going to make an another Roblox edit, but comment down below. Do you want more tutorials or just Roblox edits? Let me know in the comments. Bye.